Blackwater National Wildlife Refuge, the gateway to the Chesapeake Bay, is recognized as a wetland of international importance. The refuge, located along the Atlantic Flyway, was originally founded in 1933 as a haven for migratory ducks and geese. The refuge's 27,000 acres of wetlands have become a significant resting and feeding area for other species. One of those species is the endangered Delmarva fox squirrel. Blackwater has the largest protected population of the species within its historic range. The refuge has been at the heart of efforts to restore the squirrel. Historically, its range covered all, pretty much all of the Delmarva Peninsula, uh, parts of southern Pennsylvania and possibly even into New Jersey a little bit. Uh, when, at the time it was listed as endangered back in 1967, it was down to 10% of its historic range, uh, which is habitat like this mature forest which uh, declined due to uh, timber harvest, uh, conversion to agricultural lands, and also uh, to hunting. Now, since the Delmarva fox squirrel is endemic here to the Delmarva Peninsula, it's kind of, it's not found anywhere else in the world. We're trying to preserve those populations. The public needs to be knowledgeable about what we're doing. Uh, how to you know, maintain their land in the interest of the fox squirrels. Like I said, this is the only place you're gonna find Delmarva fox squirrels. And people can just, if they have land they can set aside to create habitat, you know, it obviously it takes a long time for a forest to look like this, to have these large mature trees that get big enough that can have nesting cavities. But another thing is, you know, there's always, you know, people don't like a dead tree. You know, there's something about a dead tree, it's just not aesthetic, you know, but that's, I like to refer to them as wildlife trees. While that tree might not be of any economic value, the nest cavities, the, the holes in the tree, the cavities, those provide habitat for not just Delmarva fox squirrels, but for, for woodpeckers, for gray squirrels, for flying squirrels, for raccoons, I mean, anything that's a cavity nester. You know, you've got a dead tree in your backyard and you know you've got fox squirrels around. Just think about leaving it there instead of having it cut down. I do believe it's possible to have a, a timber harvest allowing um, to keep a, a healthy Delmarva fox squirrel population um, just as long as it's not a clear cut. You know, clear cut's probably the worst thing you could do for the squirrels. You know, leaving some trees that are large, mature, that have, especially trees that have cavities in them. Those are the kind of trees that need to be left for the squirrels. So, you know, for protection, for rearing young. And with that in mind, I think it's, it's very possible for an overall recovery of the Delmarva fox squirrels as a species.